And welcome back everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy XI. Now, I'm doing a bit of early morning recording with this one. <coughs> Excuse me, so I, I might clear my throat quite a lot, so I'll try not to do that too much down the, the microphone there. But I want to crack on with getting as many of these videos out as I can. I'm really enjoying myself and I can't wait to start this journey abroad. But I've got a bit of an update, and I'll probably have to start most of these videos with a bit of an update, so... Straight away, I want to let you guys know that we hit level 24 and halfway to level 25. So, what, and I also learnt, I say I learnt because I'm trying to teach myself as I go, a Zenmil is basically a tank. Um, there are Kulin's, uh, a, you know, a DD, a DPS, and I think Lion and Naja are as well. I wish I would say, call upon the Vol Volter Ego of Lion who's a DD or something, but that would be too simple, wouldn't it? There is a way down um, here somewhere to have different icons, like shields and stuff like that. I'm just trying to have, have a, I'll have a quick look now, but if we can do that, uh, icon type. Let's try that one. Is it that one? Yeah. Oh no, not quite what I wanted. Hmm. No, not the one I wanted. But change that back. Yeah, we'll have some high shadows. Why not? Okay, anyway, so now that we are level 24, I've obviously now got my beetle mask on that I had and beetle harnessed. Uh, we've still got level 2 slacks. Sorry, level level 1 slacks with 2 defense. Um, <clears throat> and we've also got the rest of the armor is pretty much the same, I think. So, But now what we're going to do, and if you don't know where we are, we are at this side of... Um, blah, 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 Valken Dunes, which is the bottom right hand side. So the reason why we're going this way is because we're going to go to a place called Bastok for our storyline. So unfortunately we can't get to Bastok quick. We have no teleport crystal. We have no crystal to be able to, you know, home point crystal to teleport to. So we're going to ha unfortunately have to make the run. I decided to get those few levels in because this mission used to be capped at level 25 or the fight did because there is going to be a fight but oh survival guide but <clears throat> we uh but they they've uncapped it anyway which is fine by me but i wanted to kind of make sure that we did do it smoothly and um also just to point out as well that if whenever you level up like your alter egos are not going to be like level 99 are they? they're going to be the same level as you so if you are level 24 and you call them out they're going to be level 24 as well so every time you level up they get those extra levels as well you don't see them level up of course but you just see them getting stronger so an extra level of hero here and there obviously makes a difference um so this in front of me here is the first ever uh, sorry quad av you'll ever see of course i'm on the easy prayer and of course i keep forgetting to call out my trusts I have still got the experience band bonus on from from before, from like literally our first ever time using it. I don't know what level I was when I used it. Can't remember now. These enemies at the top of the screen in the yellow right, and it does say we can get lightning in uh, level 10 to 16. It says we're going to get roughly 10 exp for it. But I think we'll get a lot more because we've got the experience band on anyway. But. It's not even gonna last five seconds. Boom. Also, a uh, pair of quad fetch, fetish, fetish <laughs> uh, legs. Let's have a look at these. I think it's an item. Where are you? Oh, there. Fetish legs. No, it's a it's a key, it's a key item for uh, sorry not a key item. It's an item for a quest. So I'm just gonna pass that for now because we don't need that. Also, what I've been doing in Selbina was, sorry not Selbina, in uh, Dunes, I call it just Dunes, not Valken Dunes, saves me using the uh, full name, what I was doing was I was fighting, and I was fighting crabs, I was fighting worms, uh, not not worms, sorry, uh, damselflies, and I, the reason why I was fighting them is to obviously level up, but also I actually need an item from them. Now, to do the sub-job quest, which I was going to go and start off doing in this video, but the reason why is because I don't have the third item, so but I'll, I'll tell you now. So, to do the sub-job quest, you need three items. You need the crab apron, you need a damselfly, um, damselfly worm, I think it's called, and you need a 
Uh, what's the last one I'm thinking of? I know what it drops off. It drops off a ghoul. Magic skull. That's what they were looking for. There we go. So we also need a magic skull. Now I already have in my, I think my mug's uh, satchel. <clears throat> uh, where is it? Yeah, I have the crab apron and damsel fly. Now I need to kill an enemy called a ghoul, which only come out at night time in the Valken Dunes. Or, alternatively, you can go to, well, we're in Konshat Highlands now. You can go to the Konshat Highlands and there's a zone called Guzgan Mines. And in the Guzgan Mines you'll find some ghouls. Kill a ghoul, you get your magic skull. So, the reason why I didn't start the the uh, the quest for the sub-job quest is because I still need my magic skull anyway. And I am heading to Bastok anyway. So, and Guzgan Mines is actually in the same zone as Konstant Highlands. My first priority is getting the teleport crystal here. So then, at the very least, in case of an emergency or in some way or form, I can get to um, Konstant Highlands again fast. It's just the first thing you want to do. Oh, he's casting a magic spell, white magic on me, called Vanish. Actually, it's not even white magic, it's called um, Divine Magic, that. Paladins and... Ooh, a lion, that looked cool. Yeah, Paladins and White Mages normally get those spells. I'm still on the verge of not... Dis oh, I'm, well, shall I say, I'm still undecided with what job I actually want to be at the moment. I'm still... I I'm considering being a tank. I'm considering being a Paladin. I did love being a paladin. Or a samurai. Samurai, you see. I have so many cool jobs, it's hard to choose just one. Okay, bottom of the screen, you'll see it says I've got the kitten for Dem Crystal. Now, to get to Guzgan Mines, bear in mind I don't need a map because I know my way. I think it is this way, so we need to head east. And we'll kill any quad abs along the way. Well, that's too, that's too weeks worthwhile, anyway. Because we are going to be. We're at 3,200 out of 5,200, so 2,000 HP and we're going to hit level 25. We can, next time we go to Juno, we can, um, well, after we do the Bastok side of this mission we're doing, we will go to uh, Juno and we can start to do the Chocobo quest. Because at level 20 we're, we were able to do that and that would kill, well, let's say another two birds with one stone, but no Chocobos were harmed. But yes, we will be, we'll be able to ride a Chocobo after we do that quest. There's another one there, that's, uh, that's um, easy prey. I almost said it. There's another one that's weak. Boom. Okay, another one of those. Fetich torso. The poltergeist might be. Well, they're easy prey, wow. Don't think these drop drop the magic skull. I don't think they do, but we'll try it. Bit of a, bit of a challenge this one for us. <coughs> okay, they're kind of glitching out there. It's a bit annoying that they're all standing right on top of him. I think at level 25 we get a new ability. I can't remember though. I want to say it's Defender. I'm thinking, for easiness for me, I'm thinking that Paladin would be a simple one to unlock because we are leveling up with a sword on Warrior which is not the weapon that a Warrior would normally use. Typically a Warrior would use a Great Axe. So, I don't know, I'm kind of undecided at the moment. Let's kill this one. Just, let's check these wi uh, lizards in a minute. Yeah, they're too weak as well. Rock Eater, too weak. So all these are just too weak. Don't know what these are gonna, are gonna be. What's it gonna be? Tomato juice, which I think he's refreshed. Don't know why I took it. And a silent oil. These sil silent oils will come in handy in areas where you just want to run through and you don't want any aggro. You can craft them, which I don't remember what alchemy skill that is at. Uh, just to let you know about all the uh, crafts, there is fishing, woodworking, smithing, goldsmithing, cloth craft, leather craft, bone craft, alchemy, cooking, and then the, uh, let's say the newest one, even though it's been around for about five or six years now, but there's uh, synergy. Excuse me. 
Now I'm drinking coffee, which normally makes me go <clears throat> quite a lot. So I'll try not to uh, do that down the microphone. So I'm going to have a sip of my coffee real quick. I don't normally do a bit of early morning recording because um, usually I have two things. Morning voice, which is where I sound quite mumbly, which is probably a little bit what I sound like now. And also my throat's a bit kind of, not croaky, but um, like with, after drinking coffee, it makes me uh, clear my throat quite a lot. It does make you a bit phlegmy. Okay, now we are in Guzgan Mines. Again, I have no map, so I can't travel too far. Cause I'll lose my way. Just waiting for things to pop up because I know there's a book to my right in just a minute. There it is. Two books to be precise. A grounds tomb, which is something new. I don't think we've seen that one yet. Alright, so that's basically like a field of valor book and a survival manual which we will click. And what I also did is I did a few pages back out in the Vulcan Dunes. So we've got now 25,500 or 600 even gill on us now. Because we've got 500 per page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get asked for some field support. We've only got 77 tabs but I'm thinking of getting region. Just so that my HP ticks up while I'm running through the field. And I think it lasts for, I'm hoping, for an hour. If it does last for an hour, we should be okay to do um, to do the next, you know, to continue on with the storyline and stuff. Sorry, I just clicked uh, clicked my mission there. So this isn't a part of the mission at all. This is just me wanting to get my magic skull, which I'm hoping I cannot remember. I'm hoping to drop off these skeleton warriors. If they don't, oh shoot, I didn't do it again, did I? That's an easy prayer, we should be able to do it. But I'm hoping, I need to remember to do trust every time I do forget. But I'm hoping that these will drop the magic skull. But we should actually level up. If we kill all these warriors here, which again I can't remember, I'm hoping they drop the magic skull. But if they do, um, then we might even level up to 25. The last mission we did, the, uh, what was it called, the rescue drill, that was actually level 20, that, I think, oh no, it was level, yeah, was it 20 or 15, mm, can't remember now, but, 28, 23 on it, oh, I'm slurred now, damn it, let's kill it, 150 EXP, yeah, not that good. I have still plenty more to talk about in this game. Like, plenty. <laughs> uh, Lion or Naja? I'm going to go with Naja because I think Lion does an ability, or weapon skill shall I say, that does an area of effect so it hits more than one enemy. Hits more than one enemy basically and I don't want that because I don't want to be getting aggro off of enemies. This is going to go down really quick now. Oh, much quicker. Look at that. And bearing in mind, I'm slowed still. Top of the top left hand side of the screen, that little uh, down bottom right down arrow symbol. That's uh, <laughs> that's me slowed. Oh, it's just wore off. That's great. Four, three, two, one. Don't think he's dropped the magic skull, but I need to take these out because I'll probably get aggro. Like I said, I kind of I could end up leveling off these if I wanted to. This used to be the place to uh, to level for a while. Yeah, I think I remember where the enemies that I want are. Just provoke the other one there. Just keep these enemies coming. Double thrust. Oh my god, nearly dead. Okay, I think there is going to be something called a banda snatch. Down it. Silver beast coin. Silver beast coin. A minute. 
Uh, I almost have a stack of wind crystals. Remember, all these crystals will sell. And that being said, we haven't even checked our auction house for quite some time, so... There's a ghoul, that's what I want. Easy prayer. Even match on the uh, bandit match. Boom. No magic school that time. Oh, it's just giving me, it's giving me shock, which is a magic spell that does damage over time. So I'm gradually losing HP and my mind is reduced. It says on the top of the screen there. Oh, another ghoul just popped. No magic skull. Okay, these banners actually just aggroed. Like I said, we're gonna get probably our level in. Oh yeah, we will get our level in. So we're gonna be level 25 after this. Nice. Okay, 240 EXP. We're gonna level up after this. Ghoul probably. Yeah, definitely. Gonna skill chain with me? No. Half dead. Come on, drop a drop a magic skill. <clears throat> Thing is, I don't want to travel too far in. Oh, level twenty-five at least. So now, as I was just saying in my earlier bit of the video there. We have now got. I oh, will kill this bandit snatch. It's a decent challenge. We have now got um, our uh, trust a little bit stronger. There's some more ghouls down there. Look, we'll just kill this ghoul so that we don't have to worry about this bandit snatch. Sorry. There we go. We've got the ability. We've got the new ability defender enhances defense, but weakens weakens attacks. Yeah, the reason why I was thinking about doing paladin is because we're already skilling upon the sword. We've already got our sub job, which will be warrior, and we've already got um, you know shield equipped, and we're getting shield skill up. So I'm tempted, but <clears throat> now what you could actually do is because these skeletons are actually dead. If I had the magic, I could actually cure the ghoul, and it will take damage because obviously it's dead. That's my aggro us. Above the ghoul. Ooh, a pumice stone. <coughs> What's a pumice stone? Ah, we'll get rid of it. That ghoul dropped nothing. Kill this bandit snatch. <clears throat> yeah, easy prayer. Easy prayer. I mean, come on. Already we're like a thousand EXP into our level. I mean, if we carry on like this, we're going to level 26. Which is good, because trust me, at, at one point during this Let's Play, the levels will slow me down. Okay, let's have a pop down here and see if there is a ghoul. If there isn't, we're going to go back into the the room that we started in because they should despawn none of them there, they're just all eaters and bandersnatchers what about down here, is there any more ghouls? Hey, yes there is, there's one there remember I have to find my way out so I don't want to be going too deep I'm not even going to say that's what she said 
three ghouls here to play around with her. <clears throat> and then we can probably go back and the other ghouls that we killed might have uh, respawned. I'm surprised it's not dropped yet, to be honest. These are dropping that crystal though, which they go for like, I think, 80 gil to NPC, if you're NPC in it. So I actually weapon skill does one then. Well, this could get a bit messy. Good. Got re res up. Yeah, I died. So I'm hoping this ghoul will have a despawn or run away. Poor <clears throat> good job. I, but what I did is I quickly put up the re res. I saw that ghoul runs over there or despawns. I wanted to run a fair bit away from me, so it will detect my low HP. Yeah, he's detected me, which means I could die here. In fact, I will die here. Don't think I'm going to be able to get... a re raise earring up in time. Because damage over time is going to kill me here. Yeah, 20 seconds. <clears throat> no, too late. Damn. Whew. Never mind. Never mind. Damn. Well, <clears throat> I suppose. Let me just think of what I can do here. Well, I need to home point, that's for a fact. <clears throat> so, and I think I changed my home point to actually Selbina. So, at the very least, I've only got Selbina to run from. Damn, that's a pain. <clears throat> Excuse me, can't clear my throat now. Now, I'm just going to see. I don't think I can teleport from here to teleport. Damn, that would be just a bit overpowered, I think. No. Okay, plan B to save me some time, that would be really, really cool, is if I could get from here to Guzgan Mines using the survival manual. That's another plan we can do. That's a bit unlucky though that the magic skull did not drop in all that time. We'll use the re raising gearing, or re uh, the raising gearing anyway. Oh, that's a pain. I'll check our delivery box while we're here though. We haven't seen if we sold anything for a while. Oh, 5k, yeah. The 10 x strap again sold. So we're now up to 30,000 gil. Just gonna check out if I don't have anything I can wear. We'll drop off our beastman seals. The NPC some stuff. Put these in there. We also got a couple of scrolls of magic, which is good and not good because, uh, you know, we're not, we're not going to use those magics. We might end up using blind. Oh no, we're not. We're not we, Dark Knight don't even get blind. Still don't know which job I want to do yet. I'm just going to keep playing until I get to at least level 30, then I can decide what job I want to do. So, but to be fair, that's like five levels away now, which is damn awesome. But we do need to unlock sub jobs, which is while we're struggling here. Uh, could get some new gear if we wanted. 
What I will do, I think, is I'm tempted to get these crossbow bolts. Yeah. Um, we'll get a stack of 99 of these crossbow bolts. How much gill do I have? That cost me a few hundred gill. It cost me like a hundred and something gill, so... <clears throat> or even 60 gill, maybe? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, right, I think we're all done on them. I'm not going to spend 13k on a on a sword that I just I refuse. Okay. Now let me try this survival manual. These pot of moogles, I think you can get um, what they call literally they call them slips, which is basically like a piece of paper, and you trade this uh, moogle some like armor, and he will store that on the slip for you so that you don't have to hold it. It's good, but don't particularly need it at this stage in the game. Alright, let's try the survival manual. I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm hoping, we can do that. Also, another thing to note, is there is something something else in the way or forms or means of being able to level up using, um, using something else. So, let me show you. So, in quests, you have records of eminence. Now you can see I'm at current objective with Wong so I selected this when I was um, leveling up earlier on. So if you look at this and it says here um, I'll to remove objective it says here the first step forward speak to one of the following records of eminence guides whatever his name is in Sandoria and that'll complete the, um, that'll complete that little uh, quest or you know that, that records of eminence now, for doing that, you get rewarded with what they call 100 sparks. And then it also says 300 EXP, which of course, that's basically free EXP, remember? So, and I totally and absolutely forgot to do that. So we shall do that next time we go to Sandoria, which might be a, a way away from now, but we will do it, and we'll get the instant EXP, and then we can do the next one, and the next one, and you'll get different objectives, and you can go to other, there'll be loads more, and tutorials, and basics, and there'll be loads and loads more we can do. Some of them that are repeatable, so that'll get us a ton more EXP, and help level, up, le help level us up super, super quick. Teleport assistance. Uh, Norvalon? No. Zuckelm? Goes good mines. Travel using a thousand gil or travel using fifty tabs. I've only got fifty-seven tabs still. Well, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to choose the gil. I think now because gil I can get back a little bit easier than tabs. And tabs I use the um, I use the you know tabs to use like for region and stuff. Don't need region on, but <clears throat> I just thought it'd be nice to tick up my HP there. Okay, so we are now back in Gus and Mines. Whew, that was lucky. But at least I know that I can get there in, you know, quite simply, easily, um, if I need to buy a thousand gil. <clears throat> Trust me, I don't want to be spending thousands and thousands of gil. So hopefully it will drop pretty soon. So, I'm really excited to do the records of eminence. I believe, for example, one of the objectives later on is to just cough off an alter ego, which is, uh, of course, um, you know, using a trust. Yeah, these aren't even aggro you at our stage of the game anyway. Okay, now I need to be careful now. I should just play it nice and cool. <clears throat> I need to remember that once I'm low on HP, I will, de uh, I will detect on low HP the other ghoul <clears throat> or the bandersnatch. Watch it drop it first time now. Sword skill. There we go. Another ghoul. I also want to introduce us to us um, to something else. Um, called the macro system, which a lot of people who play MMOs now will probably know what they are. <coughs> Especially Final Fantasy XIV um, players, anyway, they'll know what macros are. 
Okay, I'm slept. I'm slowed. This is not looking good. <clears throat> Still no magic school. Wow, come on. Come on, game. I'm uh, sl still slept, and I'm still slurred, so I can't do anything, I'm stood here asleep. Never was a fan of the whole uh, beetle mask stuff, let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, there we are. So that's the beetle mask, never been a huge fan of it. The beetle harness, not so bad, and I can kind of get used to that. The clippius shield could look a bit better, but yeah, the beetle mask, I'm not really keen on stuff like that. It always made me feel like I had a beard from a side angle, <laughs> which I obviously don't have a beard, so... I mean, I do in real life, but not on here anyway, so let's move out. There we go. Still slept. Oh, there we go. I'm no longer slept. Oh, nice. Another ghoul. Oh, we've got a banner snatch that Sagro does. It's fine, though. So we're 3,000 EXP away from leveling up again. We did lose some EXP because we died, remember? We died twice to be uh, to be specific, but... We could do with, with some blue chests dropping and hopefully potions dropping. That would be really helpful. I never thought I'd ever be asking for blue chests to be dropping because they always, they always drop. Blue chest? No, no blue chest. Let's see if we can run around this banda snatch. Got re raise up again. I'm gonna leave my re raise earring ticking down. Look, it's got a minute and a half till I can cast re raise again. There we go. Now, I kind of have to be on your toes in this game, like if you're going to... Actually, I've just realised I've got no food on, have I? Let's get some food on. And I've still got Meat Myth Kebab left, so we'll use Meat Myth Kebab that I sent over. I kind of feel like I did cheat a little bit there, but... It's going to help with it, doing a bit harder damage. Horror Cloud, which is going to do... Usually Horror Cloud does um, blind, I think. Good evasion skill up there. I'm kind of just holding out with this video so that I can get this uh, item to drop before I end it. It's just not working at the moment. I'll do another minute and a half of recording. If it doesn't drop, I'll have to end the video there and I'll have uh, Well, I'd like to get on screen. That would be nice. <clears throat> Okay, let's kill the Banda Snatch here. Yeah, I mean, it'd be a shame if I couldn't get on screen, but if I can, it's no big deal. You know where the, you know, the enemies are. They'll just have the ghouls there, but it's just something I'd like to get on camera if I could. You know, share the victory together and all that. Very strong move that did 186 damage. Wow! I kind of wish I did have the Field of Valor region on though, you know, the book region, because then uh, at least my HP would be ticking up. And as I said, if I get low on HP, the uh, ghouls and the banner snatches, I think they detect by low HP. Yeah, they, 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 uh, it says on the top of the screen, look, minus those numbers in the middle of it all, but it does say detect sound and low HP. And they're also weak against fire, light, and slashing, which is good because they're going to be weak to um, XN Mill's um, weapon because he's got a pearl arm. I'm paralyzed now. After this fight, I'll rest. I'll end the video there. I'll rest. This ghoul's just really pop now, isn't it? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm paralyzed here. So is Xen Mill? Okay, last ghoul and then I'm ending the video. Please be it, please be it. It's not gonna be it, is it? Oh, nice, we have killed it. We're all paralyzed. Bottom left hand side of the screen shows you look paralyzed, paralyzed, paralyzed. Oh, nice secure to me. That's good. 6%, 3%, come on. I'm dead. Please be it. Oh, no, it wasn't it. Damn it. Well, I'm going to have to end the video there. I will try to get this off screen, and if I have no luck, and I don't know. I should have some luck eventually, but I was just unlucky that I did all that killing and not one of them dropped. I'll probably end up levelling up, so don't be surprised if you see me levelling up in the next video. So until then, guys, thank you for watching, and see you then.